And the bye, I can't even know so. No, but say you get out of the bo, or but say I can't go because today, as you know, to Oma, if you are man, but Oma, eh, she done and got a baby. She went to lie, na ya ne meno, but she get out na Eastern News Twenty Four. Bo, ever since we turn ya bo zi, I na bo morning tea ni lo akupo. Eh, no but she get out ya before dika, dika is going down kwa. I got na bo kwa number, dika ike ko la ye. I need you daily update. Basta makiye ne meno buda. Ana basta maka ngolo wana azo. Um, di ko si di, obo liye biya flan prime minister kuno ni wako po. Ay wote lu unu. Si kuno te alo. Basta makiye bi ife. Oga si kuye ndo zon do, ndo zon kugase. Mana ya simba na ege te kuru ni ya kuno geya bi ife. Unu ge siya ya. Una drop all ay comment. You know, if unu chero. Basta makiye bi ife. Also the key be above and cabin was seized again. I join a cabado key so I line a name. She a cool little woman nine doors aka. All right, come up in your second year. You go soon, you'll be fair. I do make a web. Yeah, over to you, be a friend, Prime Minister. My son, money, but over to you, sir. The creation of Biafra will they be retained or will they be dismissed or will they be sent back to school? Because it's obvious they will not be a constant with the law of Biafra. Then tell you, sir, my question is. The healthy and um, the chatter, the healthy key chatter. Is there a way we in the homeland can get it maybe through PDF? You know, we can't get the raw copy. So I would like to, you know, go through it, read it, get accustomed with the constitution before the declaration or even after the declaration. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to make uh, the uh, chatter available electronically. We're going to. Can this as a don meet himself? It's not as they don't, that's a God know it. It's God know it. Okay, so we're going to um, have the Charter of Biafra a second declaration digitized. I will give that directive in a few days' time. So we may have it in Amazon and other places. So yes, we're going to make that uh, possible for download. But at the same time, the charter is the first and original charter which is subject to amendment. And in Helsinki Second Convention, the charter will be updated. So uh, it is very important that you have the old, the real original charter, and then the, the updated charter that will be uh, unveiled in Helsinki for the Second Convention. That will include the work and everything that have been done, that we have done from 2023 after the declaration to 2024 in the second uh, declaration and uh, the unveiling of the charter. So, and then the issue, who is this guy? Can you remove this person as a dom, please? Remove him, please. This is uh, Sorry, sir, I've removed him. Yeah, all right. So, uh, and then the issue of uh, the justice system uh we are starting uh you know putting up the biafra justice system and the uh the chief justice of biafra will be announced very very soon remember that the government is still in exile so the justice the chief judge of biafra will also be in exile It's going to be someone somewhere in the diaspora so we are working on the justice system and for now we will probably have a modern of the Finnish justice system. The Finnish justice system is, is what we are going to have uh, at this point. Sorry, somebody has been interrupting me with a telephone call from Luxembourg. I don't know who that person is. So I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Someone has been interrupting me with a uh, phone call. All right, so yes, with the justice system uh, will be unveiled as well, of course, in the declaration. But before then, we will announce the uh, the uh, the uh, the chief judge of the Biafra, and of course, we're going to have some kind of uh, designed uh, uh, justice system of Biafra. It is going to be almost the same thing with Finland, which is uh, you know uh, the only way to get justice and um and uh, follow the rule of law so we're gonna have that like i said we will bring finland to biafra most of the ones that we feel that works for us we will uh, adopt them most of those that we feel that needed development we need to build and develop on our own 
who are going to do that. So uh, this is what uh, we're going to offer to the Afro people, where justice, equity, fairness will be supreme. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Can we call on Exodus? You have the mic. Exodus, you have the mic. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. This is good, man. Thank you so much um, for giving me the mic. Um, thank you, our joy giver, our prime minister. You, we, you are our joy giver. I just want to ask if um, there is a particular um, broadcast that we in the media need to be doing right now because of the stage that we are in. Is there any a particular type of broadcast that you really expect from us to be doing right now so that uh, we can really be hitting hitting it where it really matters most. Uh, that is what I want to know from you, uh, beloved Prime Minister. Ajayi. Yes, the broadcast that you people need to be doing now is to hammer on the killings happening across Nigeria, sponsored by Nigeria government for the Islamics, for the total Islamization of Nigeria. The news coming from all corners of the north, the killings of Christians, bandit taking over. Abuja in Niger State, for example, is just a one hour drive from Abuja. They are there killing people every day. These are the things that need to be uh, you know, be broadcast every day. And of course, the, the next level of the Biafra liberation, including this declaration that is going to happen in Finland. So you can boldly be broadcasting about the declaration of the restoration of independent state of Biafra in 2024, because that is what the enemy don't want to hear. They think that when they hear that you are going to declare Biafra, they will okay. do everything they say is not going to happen. Their own is to sabotage it not to happen. Like I said, you can never sabotage it. The only thing that can delay us on this declaration is when there is no finance to purchase arms and ammunition to defend our land. And I believe that Biafra will come out and troop out in numbers to do what they have not done before. So all we need is just arms and ammunition to defend our land so that you are not going to be killed the way you are. They are, they are getting killed in other parts of Nigeria. Thank you. Okay, so uh, thank you, sir. So we broadcast about the, the terrorism of the Nigerian uh, terrorist government and then the declaration of Biafra and then we hammer also on the funds, the aspect of funds, because that is what brings about the arms and the ammunition that we need exactly. to declare Biafra. Exactly. Thank you, sir. And why are you not in the media yet? I am in the media. I've been doing my space. Uh, it's just that we, we, you said you will call for meeting so that we resolve some issues, and that meeting has not yet been called. But I've been doing my spaces. I've been doing my spaces. All right. Noted. Copy. Thank you. Uh, Judge God, you have the mic, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm, uh, my Prime Minister, I want to just uh, trace something that I want to say before I will say the last word. Um, uh, I'm a Kenyan mother. There are some statements you made before the beginning of this year and uh, as this year started. Before the beginning of this year, you said that every company, more especially those that has to do with our mineral resources, was passed through the Biafra Republic government in Ezra. And that is a job you give to Nigerian government. And uh, early this year, a few days ago, I think yesterday when we were on space, you said, you talked about the Biafra flag, that the Biafra flag, and I have gone to check what you're saying is nothing but the truth. And that is a job you give to the IPOP Nigeria. And again, you talked about the redeclaration. This is a job you give to both the IPOP Nigeria and the Nigeria themselves. Oh, yeah, guys, I've seen it well, So I want to thank you, my prime minister. I, that is not a, a question but uh, a compliment. Then, my Prime Minister, I also want to ask you this question. Those that are elected in the cabinet of the Biafra Republic government in Israel, which are working with you, 
are they supposed to be respected when they are being respected are they respecting your opinion or are they those people that are respecting them are they respecting that person as a person or as a person that is representing the government so i would like you to clear this to us those people that you elect on the government in Ezra, did the Biafras need to respect them as people that are representing them at that capacity? Thank you, sir. Uh, before the PM, before the PM will answer this question, let me say this to you, please. Uh, we, are, we are not a government and not a group. All the serving ministers, de facto leaders, are powered by the Biafran charters. And in the Biafran Charter, it is supreme. The Biafran Charter gave everyone the power to go to do whatever according to his own duty. You are Minister of Information, it is from the Charter. Our Prime Minister is being given his power from the Charter. And to the list of the government is from the Charter. The Charter is our supreme document and our supreme law. And everyone who is may be serving under a department who uh, somebody is spearheading. You are not respecting that person. You are not respecting Simon Epa. You are respecting the Biafran Charter that was unanimously given to us by the people. That is it. Sagu uh, Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, just like the success have said, uh, but above all, the Biafra uh, cabinet members uh, are people that you must accord respect for their various positions. The Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government is, uh, is responsible for running the day-to-day -day affair of the government overall. Whoever I have appointed to do something represent me, and that respect that you, according to me, must be accorded to such person until the person is relieved of his duty or her duty. But for the fact that that person has been appointed by the prime minister who superhead and run the affairs of the government on daily basis, that respect must be accorded to such person. So everybody that is in the cabinet is being appointed and accepted by the prime minister and must be respected just the way you respect me. Thank you so much, uh, my Prime Minister, for that uh, answer. Why I said this is because of the question you were asked here. Because our people will say that no, the man goes to matter when you go to an Because yeah, of yeah, the question that is yeah, asked. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sources. Well, I, yes, I, I wait to wait it. I, my brain is very sharp. I know we are driving into, and right now we're on program. PM will handle that matter when time comes. He said, he said, copy okay. it. Understand him. It's okay. Copy. It's okay. And let it. Thank you so and much. Then. Thank you so much, Thank my you. Prime Minister. I salute you from here. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Judge of God. And thank you, my Prime Minister. Can we go on, sir? Uh, we'll call on uh, God Know It. God Know It, you have your, have your question. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I will count uh, this opportunity as a very good privilege to talk with the, the man and only I call a new dimensional in person of E.M. Simon Akman. I so much cherish both spiritually and uh, physically. Sir, so I so much thank God for this privilege to talk to you. Then, let me go to my question, sir. Sir, I wanted to know who are you? And uh, apart from your <laughs> educational background, apart from, apart from your education, or you are, what you know, because what you are doing is beyond what an African man can do. For example, we 
for my own understanding, I discovered that these uh, Fulani people, the Uveda and the uh, uh, Britain, they come very early and they are it will be dating, they start from the origin many years ago. If injecting fear in people of so called one Nigeria, they killing both big men, Timbans and Calibers, home and abroad. They killing, intimidating people for many, 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 many years. And they have achievements of doing that. And uh, this uh, generation, they come in conclusion of Islamization. Based on what they have done, you, you can bear my witness that even the big men that are supposed to be speaking, they are no longer speaking. Why? Because the Fulani people and the, and the Britain has already inflated them with a, a multiple fear in them. Some of them are afraid, even when they kill, none of them can say anything. Now my question is, apart from your education, what made you have that uh, boldness that you will defeat these people? Because it's not easy. What, may, what give you that morale? What give you, apart from your education, what give you that strength to carry this uh, bold victory? Because we already, you already defeated them. You already put, messed them up. Because you already messed this giant up. They're already on the, on the ground, licking the dust. That was why you see some people coming to you for refuge, coming to you for help. That is the symbol there. So, sir, that is my question. Well, if you can enlighten me a little bit, because it's not, it's not actually an African man can be able to have this uh, boldness to go and defeat this kind of Goliath. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. We have defeated them already. That's why we are talking about the declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra. Well, if you want to know me, you will go first of all and swim into the deep sea. When you jump inside the deep sea, and come out alive, you will know who I am. I remain a mystery and a mathematics and the question Nigeria will never solve. Above all, the God of the land of Biafra, Chikokika Biama, is the one that has given the wisdom and the strength that we have used today to decimate Nigeria and collapse it. So, like I said, whoever wants to know who Simon Ekpa is will go first of all to the ocean, jump inside it, come out. Believe me, when you are coming out, you will have my nakedness right in front of you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. You, thank you. You, you are my boldness. Thank you very much. You really answer my question clearly. <laughs> it is the Chukwu Kikabiyama. It is God's strength, it is not man's strength. Thank you, sir, so, very much. So, Thank you. So, when much. are you jumping into the sea? Hmm? <laughs> when are you going to? He doesn't. He doesn't when need to. He doesn't need to jump. He doesn't need to jump. Okay, so thank you, sir. Can we call on a Awimbun uncle? You have the mic. Sir. Oh, Maz, Maz, it was before him. Um, Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, Mary Biafra to every one of us that has gathered on this space today. Um, good afternoon to you from Ghana. I'm Prime Minister Simon Epa. I am your comrade although we did not serve in the same military. Mm -hmm. I was once a member of the Nigerian military force. 
um, I resigned the warrant officer because of the criminality that they wanted to use me to carry out against the Southern Kaduna people, where I was serving under our mechanized infantry division, Kaduna. Mazi Simon Ekpa, I have been listening to you even before our Supreme Leader was kidnapped from Kenya. I am not a full-blooded Biafran. My mother is from the Ngwa tribe, Nabia state in Biafra land. And my father is a Ghanaian from the Kusasa tribe in the upper eastern part of Ghana. Is your name, is, is no, your name Maxwell? My name is Maxwell Awimbun. Okay. I'm a Ghanaian from my father's side. And I've been following you even before our Supreme Leader was kidnapped. I spoke in your platform before where they accused me of an uh, informant. And yes. since that time, I have been here and I've been speaking, doing even what the full-blooded Biafrans cannot do. Yes, they have been marginalizing, have been... Have been marginalizing you in Dr. Damage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 but that will not stop me from propagating and doing anything that is going to restore my mother's ancestral land, get it rid of those invaders, aliens that we have nothing in common with. I have no question for you. The Nigerian army trained me in so many ways. They trained me in Russia, they trained me in North Korea, they trained me in Libya, and I have the expertise that can at least help to restore Biafra if need be. You said that if it is going to be difficult to bring Biafra from the Biafra land, Biafra will be brought from the diaspora. And exactly that is what you are doing. It is not by your mind. You were blessed and called to do this job when others has failed, have failed. I say, may God continue to bless you in anything that you are doing in order to restore my mother's ancestral land. And I would like to say this. Will you be against anything anyone amongst us have done or going to do in order to propagate the freedom of our people, my mother's ancestral land, and Biafra and the freedom of our people? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle. I can hear. Can someone hear me? Yes, I can hear yeah, you. Yeah. Okay, I can hear you. Because everywhere I kept, you know, was quiet. Can we call on uh, Sabi Boz? Sabi? Sabi Boy? Boy? You have the mic, sir. I don't know you. Sabi, are you there? Okay, Sabi, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Mic, sir. Your question, one minute, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, my Prime Minister. Am I coming out clear, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you wake up and talk as a dear friend? Nobody can damba in this trouble. Okay, okay, okay. Can you hear me now? Speak up, oh, okay. okay. Maybe I should come back from the live. Maybe my connection is bad. Hello? We can hear you, sir. Can you speak? Your one minute is gone now. Okay. So, Mazi, Onye, Onye, Buchi. Onye, Onye Chibeze, you have the mic. Mazi Chibeze, you have the mic, sir. Thank you, my sister. I don't know how to say thank you. You are the utmost. I just wanted to say thank you so much for what you are doing. 
and I will all protocol observe for the ministers, all those who are holding the line. Thank you for being here. And even those who are listening, uh, what we are doing, bringing them more. Unless you may born them more before you will be able to understand. You have to go spiritual. You know, some people are trying to find out who made you combo. You have to go into spiritual before you will understand. If not, you will not understand. But we move. My own uh, is just, it's not a question, it's a it's kind of suggestion. If you can be able to, you know, you know, push the media a little bit uh, because of our referendum uh, vote about uh, our people who are everywhere but in diaspora the ones who are home for the voting when it's ready so that those people who are not aware will be aware so that they could be able to vote you know you were elaborating the other day in our space when uh, someone were asking you what of those who don't have a phone you were telling them those who have phone will give them and help them to do that you know let our media be able to because it's very close so that they could be able to push this in all platforms yeah i saw uh, the lady who are uh, uh, putting this together was talking about when the time comes i saw it on uh, on our platform if our all our medias in our platform will be able to do this let the people create that awareness the more so that uh, our people will not left behind. Thank you. That's all I, I have. Thank you very much. Yes, we are going to make sure that media focus on that. And uh, remember that uh, when we are ready, the uh, information will be uh, passed to the public. And then we are going to watch the first uh, month of data collection, you know, how. Uh, uh, acquitted our people out to the uh, platform and then we will uh, amend accordingly so uh, our target like i said is from 20 million 20 million people upward once we have 20 million people upward we will announce the date of the convention in finland so uh, people should understand that as you are registering for the database you are also voting for the offer referendum so the system that uh, you can never cheat so we are building this thing to be international standard to be what is going to shock the world and everybody that comes across our database collection and the biafra referendum voting will be proud of what biafra government has done so you can't cheat it there is no rigging nigeria can never rig there is no opportunity for anybody to read. As you are registering your information, you are voting yes or no for Biafra. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Can we call on Chine Mere? Uh, Stella. Stella. Sir. Excuse me. Just a minute. Please, uh, uh, all of you listening on this space, if you are a communication, uh, uh, sat if you are a satellite a communication expert, you can contact the uh, government in exile or the media media team the minister of information and culture Marcus and Akparawa, contact him because a lot of you are just being concerned about uh, a widespread of this very message especially in the sub-sahara and in nigeria and in biafra land if you're a satellite communication expert you can contact the office of the minister of information and the communication please it's very, very important thank you thank you Okay. Thank you. Mind. okay, Sister Stella, thank you. Our, our able Prime Minister, Master Simon Banjoko, the only good man on earth. I, I really, really appreciate your good works. And uh, hopefully, we'll celebrate Biafra uh, freedom this year. And uh, God, hear, God, God is hearing everything we are saying today. And I know that He will do it as He has been doing for us. So, I want to ask a, a question. Uh, not a question, but uh, <laughs> everything. Uh, our brothers here, they have all, all as uh, uh, our brothers and sisters, they have all asked a very good question. But uh, I want to also tell our people to be also 
asking some question like where can I donate? Where what uh, like what can I do? What 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 should I bring in fin financially? Where where will I fix myself financially? Not somebody asking about question how can I get involved in homeland? I can remember our leader Mazen when when he formed ESN, somebody contacted people on the crowd and he come on air and he sacked that person from IPOD. So let us not be asking how to get involved in some something is going that is happening in our homeland. Let us do something like financial support so that they will do exploit, they will do more as we are expecting them, uh, we're expecting them to be doing. There's no need of asking what to do to get involved to them. It is not necessary for this moment. And please, our Prime Minister, please make it. Make that uh, make that uh, uh, announcement special so that everybody will take note of that. Thank you so much. This is what I want to say. Thank you very much. Okay, so thank you, Chin and Madam. Just support Biafra government. You are getting involved already. Thank you, um, uh, Prince. And by the Kunisnes <laughs> 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 <laughs